Hey guys, it's Ben and the last part we did stuff in this part, we're now in the Night Palace, my favourite stage, well unfortunately it's the last one, but it's my favourite nonetheless. Now we're level 22, so of course we are really pushing the beat the game under level 25, but fortunately there's not that much, it's just this and then you're on to the final boss. And it's awesome. I failed. Look at how fancy reflections. But it involves side skip that one. So I love it. Ah, I fell! Jumps right into it. Get off. Speed break. It's a trap. Speed break! I don't care if there's balls. I do now. Oh, jeez. Why am I stopping? I don't know where the hate is going anymore. Oh. Jeez, he, he likes his iron balls, doesn't he? This is why I like this music. Speed break! Miss all the rings. I guess next time we go for a walk on the air. Okay. This just keeps getting better and better. Control the pocket by tilting the wheel remote. There's a fire salt coming up somewhere. There you go, there it is. I know this game too well. <laughs> it's too recent for me to know well, that's the problem. It's okay with Toy Story because it's a short game, but this... And this, is, this is the other reason why I like this stage. Look at this. Whoa! Yeah, I'll just take forever. So you gotta go into each, all three of these, and do like this, the space challenge. Yeah, I know, now we're in space. Not really, Spike's hitting glass. Wait, let's do this. Woo! What are we gonna do? Just hit the hourglass and then it falls and then switch maybe? Now you this gas. Watch out. I also like how your rings are running out, that's kinda of cool. So you gotta watch out, you know? But you can pretty much spray down all this all these rings. So it's okay. It's fixed. And then it fixes. Just what is so you can go to the next one. I suppose there's another one over there. There you go. It's hard to see the, uh, the actual lines of where it's going. Mm. 
Ah, uh, dang it, Steve, I can't hit you. Oh, no, I can't. I don't know how that fire wasn't hitting me, but okay. Now here's some awesome bit, it's mid-fall. Still getting weaker, I know, but... There wasn't a lot of silver rings for some reason. Maybe it's just because you're dying! Well, you're not dying, but... Stop it. And the last gate, coming up! It's also a fire soul, if you want to feel like getting it. I don't know, you're going to get that, but okay. So at the main stage, don't expect to get any of the fire souls. But, yeah, you can get one without any skills. Whoop. Now check this out. Everything's going backwards. Uh, I think we passed all the fire souls up. Oh, yeah, that's that one. Apparently that one got a bit early. That was the only one. So we did it all! I don't know how you're gonna get that, but okay. Speed break! No time for dialogue, we must speed break. So anyway, the achievement thingy required us to beat the game in under level 25. I think we may push 24. No, we're gonna do it on 23, okay. But yeah, considering, you know, went through the game doing only the required missions and they expect you to know which ones are, but anyway, look at that. Gives you a soul gauge boost when you land, that is awesome. Oh, and a special book page, I think it's because there's another cutscene. Use this cutscene everywhere. Thankfully, we won't be getting as many special book pages this quick. Unfortunately, actually. Now Looks like I'm running a bit low here. Think you can top me off? Have you brought the seven world rings? No. Well, you see, you should really just look for them yourself. Wah, wah, wah. Very well. I'll carve you to pieces until I find every last one. There are set. Let's see you try. Actually, you know what? Nobody's worn a shirt so far. So anyway, you can do the head-to-head -head if you want one. <laughs> Jeez, it's a boss jewel. Anyway, we're gonna custom. Yeah. Um, what are we gonna do? We may do soul absorb, or maybe do turbo jump. Turbo jump. We're gonna need it. They also make you do, um, time break again. I know. Why do they make you do time break? That moon is huge. It's so easy. But the moon is pretty big. I've been So yeah, this fight's pretty tough, actually. What he does is... Yeah, he swings his sword in a bunch of patterns. You want to make sure you dodge the, the attacks. That one's cool, because you can actually jump on them afterwards. That's not the intended way to beat them, but they let you do it nonetheless. Now this, you want to hold down two, and then as soon as he starts moving, time break, jump, and fail. Because I suck. So yeah, you're just going to go along this balcony for a while, don't you? I, I really should hit that, actually. I'll give you those just so you can time break. Because you're gonna need to charge up your time break. Or you can just do that, you know? That works too. You can you can actually beat him entirely just by doing that one. But eventually when you hit him enough, he'll start going all aggro. So 
want to make sure you know his stuff. Basically, he just does a few moves. It's not too many of them. This one's tricky though. But you can also hit him with it. So it's good. Oh, there we go. Totally stopped. There you go. There you go. Boom. Right in the face. That does a little bit more damage than the hungry attack before. And then he's, he's in aggro mode. So he's also a little bit faster, but he's, he's kind of tough, you know? It's hard, you know, you gotta try and notice patterns. Yeah. Just make sure that unless he does like this fancy motion. Oh, dang, I missed. It's too early then. My soul gauge is tiny! Go! So that worked. It's not possible. Alrighty, Razor, give up. You've lost. And we won. Yay. What rank did we get? Look at that enemy bonus. Oh, a silver. The thing is that, yeah, with these boss battle, or with this boss battle, I guess a bunch of other boss battles, the skills kind of work. But in this one, you know, the skills don't really apply too much. So anyway, you know, we gotta level up, and we managed to beat him under 25, although pushing 25. But I believe it's 25 run die, and I, you know, it's the skill you go in with, so 23, yeah. Quick high step, that allows you to do your quick step a lot better. Rocket boost, uh, so, yeah. S pearl collector, so basically you get to collect pearls even further. And we got another special book page. I believe I may be missing town actually. Because we got the cutscenes going on. Hmm. 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 Sonic? Uh, I'm okay. I'm still. That door. <laughs> what is it? The awkward pause. I an idea. Watch this. Open sesame. Womp womp wah. It didn't work. That's. <gasps> what? Oh, the cover. Holy crap, it's got seven slots. Must be some sort of offering we need to make. Seven? Sonic! When the seven rings that control the worlds are gathered, the portal between worlds. When did we bring this up? We've got the seven worlds. No, we don't. This must be the door that they open. Hold on. I think they expect you to have all the seven world rings, actually. I don't know. Point is, we beat a Razor Jin. Yay! So anyway, you may be going, are you kidding me? That was ton short. That was almost as short as Sonic Adventure DX. Well, first of all, Sonic Adventure DX had the <laughs> adventure field. If you take out all the adventure fields, Sonic Adventure DX would have been a bit shorter, actually. At least on the Sonic thing, on the on Sonic stages. Still, so, right. Um, the other thing is that you know we didn't do half the, we barely did all the stages. We only did about twenty or so. Um, twenty thirty maybe. Um, but, you know there's hundred and ten in total. So yeah, and you know on a regular playthrough you wouldn't know which ones would unlock the next story. So you, you know, you'd just be practicing the skills and stuff. The reason why the difficulty curve was kind of high was just because I was skipping a lot of the stages. Um, you know, I'm going back to them because I gotta get fire souls and gold medals and whatnot. Um, but uh, other than that, other than that, I had a good time playing just through the story again. Um, you know, we still got, you know, like every Sonic game, there's always a, a secret, Final boss when you do everything, you know? 
it's not everything, but you know, collecting the seven world rings. Uh, one problem is that, yeah, it does feel a bit unpolished, such as the fact that the cutscenes keep talking about another world ring, even though we didn't do that cutscene where we got the first one, instead we got another one. And, you know, the fact that some of the controls are a bit dodged sometimes. You know, since you're not always using it, you know? It's like one of the power-ups from Sonic Colors. I didn't like one of the power-ups, but you know, that's okay. And this is like it, it's the back step, you know, you don't use it terribly often. What power-up didn't I like in Sonic Colors? I liked all of them, shut up. <laughs> um, so of course this isn't the end. We're, we're gonna be doing uh, a lot more, um, but I'm definitely not gonna be, um, you know, going for the really boring ones, or, or I'm not showing the boring ones, because I know, I know I need to keep some interest, so I'm not gonna show myself grinding for gold medals, but I will show my gold attempt at it, if you know what I mean. Um, also, by the way, there's a completely different team that did all the party games. I don't know why, but they tried to join Sonic Shuffle in with Sonic and Secret Rings, and apparently people didn't like it. I thought, you know, since it doesn't affect the story, you don't have to clear the party mode or be better at the story. It's vice versa, I know. You have to beat the story in order to get party mode. You need to collect fire animals and want to unlock minigames more. But besides that, you know... Um, but what else? Uh, what else? Um, yeah, I don't know why reviewers think it's a horrible game. I definitely know it has flaws. I'd give it like a seven and a half because it is a bit buggy. But it, it is a solid adventure. It knows what it's doing, kind of. Maybe no, it doesn't. Maybe sometimes. But, uh... Like, it looks good. It's... The controls work for the system. Um... See, Black Knight, the sword mechanic, is what killed it for me. And not only was the sword a little bit clunky for me, I also felt it broke the experience. And the fact that you're doing it all the time in Sonic and the Black Knight, that's what ruined the game for me. In this, it's the back step. It's not that bad. It's just the back step. I mean, you're not always back stepping, and you know, it's work around really well. Um, but you know, what else? I'm not laughing at Japanese names right now. Um, yeah, uh, what else? Pants? I don't really have that much to talk about. Um, oh gosh, when I was working on the channel background, I, I searched up Shara, and of course a few pictures of Shara from this game come up. In fact, most of them were, because I don't think Shara exists outside of this game. But you know, the fans, the hardcore fans, especially the ones on DeviantArt, jeez. Jeez, they draw these characters in some really strange situations. And don't try Googling it, because you, you'll never see the characters saying again. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, yeah, we're not, we're not finished. We've just done the main, the main quest. And I just wanted to get that out of the way, because it was one of the challenges that required you to beat the game uh, under level 25. And I believe this is what the thing was. Um, but, uh... But, yeah, there isn't, um... Yeah, it's not over. Um, what next? I think, first of all, I'm going to completely clear this, the single player before I jump into the multiplayer. And the multiplayer, you know, you can do it against AI, so, of course, yeah. But, uh... Um... Yeah, I'm gonna be trying to narrow down my things. I think I'm gonna, you know, show off all the missions, or at least the ones that, um, the ones that you can get most of all. Um, I'll be commentating through those, but, uh, other than that, after that, I'll just be cutting to gold, gold medals, because, you know, there's a lot of missions, and that's, that's one of the problems. In fact, I might even make them all optional, you know? Optional to watch, not... Yeah. So yeah, um...
What else? Yeah, I think it's also got some good music, you know? Physics, what? Doesn't NVIDIA own physics? Ah, oh, Sonic Team. Again, also, I don't know why people hate Unleashed so much, considering that Unleashed was pretty much put exactly the same into... Oh, yeah. About that. But, yeah, um... Last thing I want to say is that, yeah, Colors ran on the exact same thing Unleashed did, but apparently everybody loved it. it like, I understand it's probably got twice as much content and it doesn't have the warehouse stages, but I, I don't know why Unleashed has behaved so much. I mean, yeah. So if we go to the special book, I may as well show off this. What the special book is, is that it shows off things. Now, basically, yeah, we got to get a certain number of medals. So I believe it's every three. So, of course, we've only got six or under. Or six, seven, and eight. I don't know. But you get, you know, pictures of the history. The more silver medals you get, the more history you get. Um, it's just, these are illustrations. I believe you need to get gold missions and specific challenges. And you can also click on them. So, of course, yeah, we're missing certain missions, of course. Um, okay, I guess it is, though. Although that one, yeah, you know. Uh, here's some developer material. I may as well show it. Actually, no. That's, again, clear gold, certain missions, you know. Uh, background music, again, golds and whatnot. I believe this. Some silver medals, you know, that stuff. This is what I was going for. Basically, this is, these are the achievements, so to speak. You gotta get them for doing stuff. Anyway, this, you get for beating a razor chin. That is the one. This one right here. That's the only one that you can't get if you, well, that you can miss. You, you can start a new save file. And you'll have all the special book pages that you've cleared up, that you've acquired in your other save file. I've actually copied the entire save dialer over to a different SD card just so I can re earn them. Um, but yeah, this is the only one that you can miss out on in a save. All the rest of them, yeah. Now here's something interesting. This page, you'll find it quite interesting. Um, other than that, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll be, you know, trying to collect them all later. Anyway, I guess I'll see you kids next time, when we'll be doing other missions, yeah. Okay, we'll see you kids then. Woo! Oh.